Okay, just stop. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty clean. Pretty dang clean under here. So that's good. What's the engine compartment look like? Bad. Uh, no, not at all. That's good. Yeah. What about the chassis? Huh? Again, chassis looks dirty with surface rust, but not bad. I think we can clean it up and. Oh, it's a nice reinforced chassis, too. Hey, I'm used to that thin wall, not <laughs> even tubing. Yeah, compared to that, it's beefy. Like, yeah, Ford in the 60s did not build a stout frame. At least International in the 70s did. Cool. Well, the motor is out. Sale, so hopefully somebody finds it on marketplace and picks it up on us. And as you can tell, Mike is power washing the chassis because this thing is nasty. It was definitely leaking everywhere for a long time. And this is after the motor itself was power washed, so you can imagine what the chassis looks like. So that's where we're at today. Just like that, it's clean, clean, because it's still pretty gross, but it's good enough to get back in the shop, so then we can get started on these fun little made-for-us-by-anything scout bits and bobbles to get the engine in, to get the new Deaver Springs in, which are over here. Fancy little Deaver Springs. Big, much bigger gas tanks. We'll be able to carry more fuel and that thing is a tank. Like, yes, obviously it's a gas tank, but it weighs an absolute ton, like super heavy. So we're starting to dig out the stuff that's been sitting in all of my spare bedrooms in the house for the last six months. And we're gonna get ready to get the chassis painted and get everything up and going in order to get it back together. So I'm pretty stoked. This is where we're at with it for right now. Um, yeah. Lots and lots of work to go. Prepping for sandblasting. when your buddy comes to bring your trailer back that he borrowed and you put him to work by stripping a trip by stripping a scout chassis and you know loading it onto a flatbed thanks one heave that's what you get for hanging out yeah you get put to work what I'm here for.
So that's going to be it for this part of the build. Not really build, it's more of a teardown, but that's how things go. You can actually restore something and build it better without taking it fully apart. So the chassis and the axles are going to be heading to the Sandblaster this week up in Phoenix. They gave us about a two week turnaround. So it's going to be a minute before you hear back from us in the Scout project, but we do have a couple little surprises coming up for the F100. So um, if you're here for the Scout, you'll just have to give us a couple weeks, if not maybe more like a month before we can get back into putting it, starting to put it together. So once we get it back from the Sandblaster, we can paint the chassis, continue welding on the anything Scout brackets that we got for it for the LS swap and just keep plodding along with it but we do have some surprises coming with the f100 so stay tuned for that we did sell the motor and trans and transfer case that came out of the scout even though it was suspect and we knew the motor was a little toast but the kid was incredibly excited to get it this was his i don't know third or fourth scout build his first one was at 16 so we're, we're glad that it went to the right person at the right time um he was glad to get it too and he's going to be a good resource for us because he's built several Regardless of his age, man, that kid was a wealth of knowledge and told us like, hey, you should reinforce the frame here and you should check out the spring brackets because they're a little knee from the factory. So shout out to him. Appreciate the information he's given us already. And we're stoked. We're getting there. Um, and we're going to keep plodding along with other projects, even though we're going to have a couple weeks downtime. So thanks for following along, guys. We're going to do some maintenance on the daily drivers today. Super boring stuff. Not going to include you in that, but... We will see you next time. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, and leave us a comment if you're interested. Thank you.